Hi boys and girls, we're gonna do another experiment today. Uh, we're going to do um, elephant toothpaste. And what we need is yeast, we need a funnel, we need hydrogen peroxide, we need dish soap, I happen to have Dawn, and we need something to do the splash zone. So, if you uh, hold on a second, we're gonna put some things together and we'll get ready for our experiment. Welcome to Kitchen Science with Miss June. Thanks. Okay, boys and girls, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our yeast and we're gonna put it in about three-fourths cup of water. Um, so we'll have to take that, and I'm just gonna use one, one package it's said to use one tablespoon. A whole package of yeast is about two and a half teaspoons. So I'm just gonna put one, one um, thing, put it in there. All right, now I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm gonna stir it up. Now what will happen if it takes time, the yeast will grow. And the one way to activate the yeast um, is to add a little bit of sugar. So I'm just gonna pour in some sugar. It doesn't, it doesn't take a whole lot. But while it's doing that, it'll start to grow and I'll show you that in just a little bit. Our next step is to get a bottle. Here's your bottle, okay? And we're gonna pour in um, a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Usually your parents might have some hydrogen peroxide at your house. Let me make sure I cut this this label off my water bottle so that you can see the reaction when it actually happens. Okay. I'm going to pour a half a cup in and I'm going to use my funnel so it's a, a little easier. We poured a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide in there. Also, we're gonna add some dish detergent. I just happen to have Dawn. I don't think it really matters what your dish detergent is. And mine just happens to be green with a, a green apple scent to it. Um, then you're gonna put a little bit of food coloring. So hold on one moment so we can get our food coloring. coloring. Okay, boys and girls, we're gonna put in some food. I put in some green food coloring. Since our dish detergent was green, we'll put a little bit more in so you can see it. And then I'm gonna shake it up. We're doing green today. Seems kind of like a green day outside. Okay, and we're still working on our um, yeast to grow. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more sugar. stir it up a little bit more. Sometimes if your water is too hot, um, it doesn't grow very well. So I'm wondering if my water is a little too hot. But we're gonna let it sit for a little bit and when, it, and when it's ready, we'll pour it in. All right, see you in just a sec. Hi boys and girls, we're here with Kitchen Science and we had a little bit of a break um, because we were waiting on the yeast to grow. Um, we found, I found out that the, le the, the water was a little too warm. So make sure that you do it for the tap water and you just touch it. So what we've done so far was we've taken, uh, we've taken about a quarter cup of water and put one package of yeast into the container. Um, and stirred it up. I also gave it a little bit of sugar just to get the, the yeast moving. Now in this bottle over here, we have put um, hydrogen peroxide, okay? We put in um, soap, dish, dish soap, and we put in food coloring. Now, this is what we're making. We're making elephant toothpaste. Now that the, the yeast has grown, it takes about 
three or four minutes for the yeast to grow. So don't worry, it'll start to bubble and it'll start to grow. And once it's started to grow, um, then you can pour the yeast into the hydrogen peroxide, the Dawn dish detergent, and a little bit of food coloring. Today we're using green. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pour it in because our um, yeast has grown a lot and we're gonna watch the experiment. This is called elephant toothpaste and I will show you the recipe after you see the experiment. Here we go. All right, I'm pouring it in there. All right, you guys ready? Here it goes. All right, it's growing. Make sure that you have it in a pan so when it explodes, oh, there it goes, elephant toothpaste. And it'll just keep going and going until all of it's gone. The yeast, what happens here is the yeast reacts with the, um, the soap as well as the hydrogen peroxide and it creates this lovely volcano effect. Now I have it right here in a pan so that I that I can contain all the splash zone and so it's not all over my table. So real easy, just a, a thin pan and it'll just, exp it just keep going until all of the toothpaste has come out. So um, right now I'm gonna get our um, recipe and I will show it to you and talk about it as uh, in just a second. Okay, our uh, recipe is one half cup hydrogen peroxide, one half cup, one tablespoon of dry yeast. Now I just use one whole packet of fast, um, rapid uh, working yeast. It's about two and a half teaspoons, which is very close because three teaspoons is one tablespoon. So either one tablespoon of dry yeast or just one of those dry, uh, fast acting um, yeast. I need three tablespoons of warm water. Um, I used a quarter cup and you just mix the dry yeast into the quarter cup of um, or three tablespoons of warm water. Then you're gonna use liquid dish soap, doesn't matter what kind. You're gonna use food coloring, you're gonna need a plastic bottle and you're gonna have a splash zone container because um, we obviously we don't want to get it all over the table. But after you do that for elephant toothpaste, you mix the yeast and the water, the warm water, and let sit. Now, like I said, it's gonna take about five minutes for the yeast to work. And you're gonna put a little bit of uh, sugar uh, in it to activate the yeast to make it go quicker. Then in your bottle, in your bottle, Okay. You're going to put a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide, food coloring, and dish soap. Once the yeast is ready, once it's, it's all bubbled up, and you'll see all the bubbles, it'll change. You'll see, uh, then you pour the yeast into the bottle, and voila, you have our, your experiment. This is called elephant toothpaste. Um, you can put glitter in there as well. You can put in a lot more um, food coloring and make it it'll come up as the food coloring um, I just put a little bit of food coloring because my dish detergent was already green um, if I would have done a deeper amount of food coloring the color would come up better so that is elephant toothpaste boys and girls we're so glad Felicity I saw that you were doing dancing dancing rice we're excited about that we'd like everybody to try some of these activities at home thanks this is Kitchen Science with Miss June.